so we can actually cast it with Talia. Guys, have you ever freaking saw this play in numbered mythic? I love it. This was so freaking fun. Look at this stuff. Hello everyone, it's Slav here and today absolutely mind-blowing deck that you have literally never seen and it didn't exist until yesterday when it was created to the mythic ladder and guess what we actually advanced from the percentages to top 1200 mythic with this freaking deck i have never seen anyone play ever this card on the end ladder i thought hey this is a good combination when i actually started playing with it i didn't even want to go on ladder i thought it's junk but you know what like results are there, we beat meta deck consistently. I'm not sure, maybe we are onto something new. The deck feels absolutely glorious. There are so many cool plays that you can make with this one. And I honestly think you will have a blast with this one. What the deck is about, why is it so super cool and amazing? Uh, explosive Singularity is basically a 10 damage to face to your opponent. And it costs one less for every creature that you will tap as a part of casting cost. It means you want a huge amount of cheap creatures for example double creatures from reinforcements triple uh, creatures from wedding announcement double from fable or a third path iconoclast that creates infinite ca small creatures you think it's a sweeper nah it's five mana create three creatures <laughs> that also deal damage directly to your opponent so the whole deck is just making tokens that at some point you can cast it very often for two mana then you uh, copy it with galvanic iteration and you literally deal 20 damage to your to your opponent's face out of nowhere they never expected they never for never thought they're on the losing side and they never expect they will get burned with singularity so they play very you know confidently attack your face go to seven nine life and you just cast this and you kill them <laughs> that's absolutely gross part of the deck we want to pressure them, them a little bit if we can we have some lightning strikes so we have ways to make them down to 10 life it means that you don't need to copy the singularity it makes things a bit harder but to be honest there's not a big problem with just galvanic iterationing it and going for straight up burn out of max hp to zero hp they never saw coming so yeah and you are usually just defending and trying to go to one life and then you burn them and treasures really help with setting up this one single turn that will win you the game this is the deck sorry i'm rambling but i'm so excited about this one i'm so proud of you know creating something that you probably never have seen ever it's also one of my favorite archetypes that are super hard to make in magic i might have played something similar in the games we don't talk about like ice mage for people that know so this was the closest i could get to this kind of archetype that you are just defending 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 and at some point you just unleash 20 damage to your opponent's face and he cannot do anything about it so i'm way too excited and i'm sorry for it but i hope you enjoy uh, you definitely will enjoy the video games i enjoyed it way more than i thought <laughs> all right don't forget to subscribe guys if you appreciate some brief of freshness to the current mono red leather i really think that yeah it's it's worth it fair warning there are a lot of you know rare cards and mythics that you would have to create so if you are short on mythics you probably are better with the meta decks it's just a bit easier but if you are bored with the current meta and want something that seems to be doing really great and is super super fun you can just go with those to be honest you can go to two or three e singularities i prefer four because i'm a madman <laughs> <laughs> all right also alchemist gambit is not super needed so if you are short on this one you can skip it it's pretty cool addition it's not super needed uh rubble arousing didn't come into play today i'm not sure but you can absolutely make the deck without those cards and it will basically be the same idea so have fun enjoy and tell me in the comments uh, what do you think all right opponent goes first unfortunately we are second because this hand is absolutely amazing on the play but it's fine like we have a lot of reactions let's start with this one because of course the blue mana is hard to go by in our mana base and mountains are pretty easy to go by soldier i actually do not mind it it's of course not the card you love to see but you know like if we if we can stack the iconoclast uh, of course as always brutal cutters are a problem 
but he doesn't have them. Very nice. We do not trade. Oh, those are some juicy cards. The setup phase. We will take a lot of damage. However, if he doesn't play Brutal Qatar right now, no, stop. Yes. Oh, the amount of value that we will get is pretty insane. He also gets a lot of value, but it's fine. This is the big damage. We invested the seven life into setting up the rest of the game. I hope it will work. We will strangle the Talia. Doesn't sound great, but it is great. I mean, I'm not sure how to continue with this topic, so we just won't. <laughs> and I mean, we could attack and lightning strike the veteran and we can start trading, but it's not worth it. Like, he needs to kill those Iconoclasts because they will take over the game really quickly. Like, he's on the edge of losing already. Guys, we are actually fighting numbered mythic with this <laughs> janky singularity game. I love it. Huh? So, third path, Iconoclast. Oh, the token. You don't like my tokens, my friend? What? Sure. So, we cannot deal 4 damage with this one, but we can deal quite a lot. Alright. This means that we kill this guy. We make a bunch of tokens and they will be 2 2. <laughs> and this is how it starts to fall apart for our opponent. We could also block here, but I do not feel so pressured. I'm absolutely happy with the current situation on my, of my board. Uh, Brutal Qatar is something we need to be careful of. Uh, that would be a bit better before, but it's fine. So we basically have infinite tokens and we have singularity that we can... Oh my god! Guys, do we really go into numbered mythic with singularity galvanic iteration? I think we do. I actually think we do. I don't want to attack, I want extra creatures. And we do not block with anything unless we absolutely have to. Because I'm killing him with this one. Oh my god, I need to do it. Uh, are, are you see? Oh my god. Talia, as always, messing up my great, great intro for the, for the video. <laughs> it would be so glorious, but we will make it work. We still have wedding announcement. Uh, he has basically a timer until it flips. So we could already do it, but we cannot make the combo because of this annoying freaking Talia. But with this one, Singularity will be at 2 mana only, so we can actually cast it with Talia! Oh my god, this is such an, an efficiency. I'm not even talking about wedding announcement flipping. And this is his last turn. Guys, next turn, Singularity. Sure. It's fine. All I need are creatures in the board. As long as I have infinite creatures, I'm casting free spells that kill your face. Oh my god, he will never think about this one. And the fact that we will be able to cast for 5 mana with Talia already, that's absolutely... He, he thinks he, he has a shot. Guys? He oh, no, 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 no. No, we decline. We decline everything. Guys, have you ever freaking so display in numbered mythic seriously guys subscribe if you appreciate this junky junk getting into numbered mythic i love it this was so freaking fun look at this stuff i've never seen it so far <laughs> i love it i love it that was absolute by the way we crashed top meta deck with this one all right, so, wow, so much value. I mean, we're going first. I will take this hand because we have a lot of good draws. And I think, I think, I hope, it should be probably this round, to be fair with you guys, but it's fine. Yeah, we'll play like a, like a dummy and it will be fine because we have fables. Oh, I don't want to cycle those. Generally, I really don't want to show my opponent what I play because they will freaking never guess what I'm playing. And the fact that this is a surprise uh, play, basically, is such a huge deal overall. Like, nobody expects 20 damage from nowhere into the face. And there is a chance we will get it. If I can stack the Goblin, and I will probably be able to with Strangler and the Lightning Strike, uh, I really like my free treasures. Sure, 3 damage. 
I will take it. With, all right, with some dignity. Oh no, I don't want to show him. I really need so one strangle here, one strangle here. I need both lightnings. Honestly, lightning strike is the worst of those cards. Unless I want to go for singularity, I should cycle one of them. I really should. I really should. <laughs> All right. Strangle. I strangle you. I pay my life. You die. I strangle you. Those are sorcerers, by the way. My goblin reigns over the battlefield, making treasures and basically being full gangsta life. <laughs> Alright, sure that. Sure that kinda kills us, by the way. Oh. It's not the. Like, it's pretty good for us. It means that we get free reign over the board. Yes, he deals some damage. Yes, he draws a card. So, I think I need to burn him. Yeah. All I need to do is cast one of those. See a nerd? Burn! Alright. It is intense, but all we need to do is cast this card and it will be done. Oh my god. Guys, have you invented new meta? <laughs> like, we are crushing it. I cannot believe this. Nobody expects the explosive singularity. Literally no one. They always think they have so much time. It might be Invoke Despair, in that case we sacrifice the Reflection, we attack with the Goblin, we deal two damage, uh, we get a free treasure, I guess. Oh, alright. I hate you, but that's fine. How much removal? All I, I need to... Oh, oh, he's killing himself. Oh, it feels absolute. He will never freaking see it coming. Oh, he's so dead, he doesn't know about <laughs> Oh my god, I have never thought this will work so well so far. I mean... See ya! <laughs> see ya, Metadex! <laughs> Numbers Mythic, oh my god, we actually hit top 1200 in the world with this. All right, we're going first with Iconoclast. Yeah, this this is a pretty nice opening. Let's make sure that we have a nice dual land that is untapped on the next turn. And we're against Cheek. What a surprise. So this will be a two drop possibly. If we cast this, it will be one drop into play, like Swift Spear into play with Fire and we are super behind. If he just plays a Swift Spear, we just kill it. This is a good card. I will go like this. He has to play more creatures into the board. Yep. I mean, let's see. Maybe maybe he thinks about a joke. <laughs> I know. I, I like to joke like this. Alright, so we mitigated some of the damage. We traded cards for a card. He basically didn't get anything during his turn and we didn't get too much done in our turn. We have white, so we can play like this. And we just build the wedding announcement. And then we go big score, make some treasures and hopefully we can combo third path iconoclast with a lot of stuff. Told you. Swift Spear. Easy. They always have some. Oh, the next turn will be pretty brutal. We need to take this damage. We generally really want to flip. We really want to flip. Fable? Fable is kinda good because he needs 3 mana. So unless he has 1 mana instant spell and the land, uh, he cannot activate everything. He wants to play this, he wants to play this, and then pump both Swift Spears. Then it will be awkward. But we can still trade 1 for 1. If that's the only thing, he, he, oh my god, but that's that's not the worst. We flip next turn, guys. We actually flip, so we can, like, it's not as scary as it seems. All right, we, oh, this, this is a bit too late, like, it, there wasn't a good card to play together with it. I think this is the play. Weird, but all right, I'll take it. Is this the Fable? 
Fable is really good here. Uh, he will spam Swift Spears and Burn Spears, but we flipped the Wedding Announcement and now our board is what? 9-9? Nine, nine? So he needs to pump quite a lot and even then we can make very good trades, stacking multiple creatures on one, so it will be very hard for him to burn everything. Alright, Chick. The Chick counter, so he wants to go by air. Let's go like this, double block. Uh, this might just to make sure because if he has play with fire he kills one of them and gets a free trade in this kind of block he, uh, That's not a possibility All right, we have a dude Like we are really going for it right now There's a red reinforcement not the worst. I Think this is a bit better Like I'm cycling good cars, but I still think we can make it a bit better. I can go up to 5 mana if I want. I could sweep the board. And I don't really want to. So I get the treasure. I need to, a lot of blockers because next time he will go super hard, possibly with the foundry. But you know, treasure is treasure. You, you, you don't say no to treasures. So I will actually go like this and create 3 devils. Yep, because this is insane amount of power. Maybe I should at yeah, I should probably attack a bit more. I'm too defensive. Uh, this, this, this. All right, like, pfft, sure. I think no. This is definitely it. Makes an awkward trade. He needs to invest one card here just to be even, and. Devils, you want to lose devils. So he has one card, they can be 2 3, and devils can kill them. That's a full block. And the rest will smack his face on the next turn. We also get new Kiki Jiki next turn. Smart, smart sloth, absolutely did not miss this one. It's fine, guys. <laughs> I, I, I messed up pretty hard. Can I kill my op? Yes. Right? Or do I lack a little bit? Alright, I do not need Galvanic Iteration. So I will attack with this. I need to deal 7 damage together. 3 and 2 devils. I will have 4 creatures. Oh, I lack exactly 1 mana. Exactly 1 mana in, in every case. How do we do it? If I attack with this, I lose 1 mana, but I gain 1 mana. So I'll deal 3, but it's still the same. I'm pretty sure we'll win, but let's make sure that we maximize it. You want to attack with those tokens because uh, devils are better at defending, because then they deal still face damage, you want them to die. Alright, so I think this is something like this, right? Even if he attacks with both, we can block both and we have backup one. I think this is the play. And honestly, you don't need more. Uh, do oh, I don't. I don't definitely do not want to pay myself. We can do it during his turn. We say go, and we kill him next turn. I'm pretty sure we have this one. Seconds, so sure. That's why we needed a lot of blockers. They always have something to, you know, swing at least one creature. Guys, we are actually really doing it. All right, guys. Wedding announcement. Iconoclast and some big score action. I think it should go pretty well. We'll see. We of course cannot cast the Iconoclast on curve because we don't have blue. Because I might have cut a little bit of it. But we don't need it super fast. As long like we can just go with wedding announcement and stuff. Never mind calculate it. <laughs> So of course it's not perfectly on curve, uh, it, it would be a bit better if that was the first hand, but we can absolutely make it work. Alright, and here's our cool card. Alright, so we have options. Uh, I think this is the play, because uh, whatever we play will get removed. This is mono black, they are kinda known for a lot of removal in the color, 
So I wouldn't expect this to leave. And if it doesn't leave, we basically wasted one mana for no reason. We got zero effect because we traded card for card. And yeah, our next turn is basically wedding announcement at four mana. So we also lose one mana. Big score means we don't have anything in the board. Like it's, it's just all around bad. Also, uh, how, if it flips faster, it's just more value. See? That would be such an easy Iconoclast removal. Alright, they might have Trespasser. But I will risk it. We have another Galvanic Iteration. And this is kinda the best card we can discard right now. Alright, we do not have best situation yet. But we'll make it work. We attack Liliana. Uh, yeah, I, I like our situation. We can even go so Kenzan at the end step and just flood the board with the tokens. Liliana and the Despair do not like this. Especially that next turn we flip the wedding announcement, he will have 5 mana. Alright, that's something. Uh, whenever an opponent casts, I love it, we will get a blood token. Yeah, so it's basically a big flying creature that gives you value, like it gives all your opponent value generally. And yeah, it will be Sokenzan. But truth to be told, we can just make it right like this. I will keep uh, the Iconoclast and let's get our blood token. I mean, those are freaking cool cards. Alright, 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 alright. I will discard something, but I'm not sure what. All of our cards are pretty freaking amazing. So we might go this into Lightning Strike. Oh, uh, do you really? Yeah, I guess we do it. I might be able to kill Liliana a little bit. Just a little bit. My turn. Yep, we have really good cards, honestly. And we, don't forget, we flip on this turn. Yep, we get our blood token. Alright, so we can cycle anything. We could lightning strike the Liliana. And we could even cop it if you really want, but I don't think that's the play. I think we just try to flip and see if he invokes the spurs. Yeah, don't forget with every next creature, our singularity is a bit cheaper. Yeah. Uh, Infernal Grasp. I mean, sure. So we definitely play this. Is it Liliana? Nah, I will go with Adversary. Also, we will get extra value. This is for Liliana discard, of course. I mean, sure, you can you can do it as an answer for some reason. Uh, I, this is this trap of I want to answer it. Like, sure. Alright, so we lost the Iconoclast, but we made the token. And we have Wedding Announcement. So look at this. He's down to one card. He's basically having one big creature. And yeah, he just killed his own creature, which is awesome. Do you attack? Alright, not yet. I mean, this is a card, right? So we have 6 mana. So this is 10 minus 3, so 7. We cannot cast it yet. We cannot cast it yet. So how do we play this one out? He will, he will just plus 1 Liliana, that's for sure. We are in a bit of awkward spot because we, do, we like this 1 mana that we discarded. If I attack with everything, it's just 4 damage to Liliana, not the best. And we lose some value. Yeah, that's a hard one. That's a hard one, honestly. I'm not sure how to play this one out. I think we try to get him, so he can block one creature, it's 4 damage, next turn it's 2 damage, because he blocks the, the other one. So, unless something changes in the board, that means that in, two, in the next turn we kill him with Singularity. It will be hard to make enough tokens, but we'll try to make it work. I don't want to show those cards, because the moment he sees them, he knows exactly what's going on. That's a discard a card. I will use this one. 
because we might draw, we might discard whatever we draw. And now he, yeah, he, he checked it. Now it's panic mode for him because he knows exactly what's going on. Uh, it will be a bit hard because we can get him to 10, but then he can ultimate Liliana. That will be harsh. So let's see what we draw. All right, that's a, that's a decent card. A decent card. We cannot kill him though. I really want to kill him. If I play this, he just plus one Liliana. So let's get him to 10. So this is exactly lethal, but we need to think how we can play this one. And we are a bit down on the creatures, right? So I think what we have to do is go like this. Don't forget we play four of those. So even if we discard it, it's kinda okay. You know what? That's fine. I will get my blood token. I will start creating some board. I think I draw a card, right? Perfect. I absolutely knew about this. And I can float some mana if, in case he ultimates. Alright. I discard a creature. Thank you. Guys, I think we might be able to do... Oh, he's actually going for it. We are not sacrificing anything. It's it's not even two turn lethal, right? So we are super happy about the result. I mean, can I do the thing? We can deal insane amount of damage with, with, damage with this one. So I guess we just kill him otherwise, because Liliana is creating so much pressure on board that I think that with Wedding Announcement I will just try to kill his face. He needs to protect... So he played around Explosive Singularity at the end and pressured our hand, but in the end uh, he will die to tokens because like we pressure him from two sides, board and also when he answers the board, we just finish him with direct damage, right? And look at this, it's, it's 13 damage to the face. Also, Lightning Strike just kills him, but we lack one mana. So yeah, I think we did pretty nicely. Not the way we wanted, but it still works. All right, Singularity in hand. Yeah, we need three mana to go for this and the Strangle and then follow up with Lightning Strike. That's our plan. Uh, first, the tap land, and then we go the Pain Lands. So, it will be a little bit of damage, but let's see how aggressive our opponent is. We definitely want to go red. Right. Alright, that's a cool art. I like this land so much. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. I kind of want him to tap out. Like, I, I want some value from this because we don't have super much. Alright. That's some Liliana action. Um, yeah, unfortunately we cannot go around this one. So, uh, at this point, uh, a, dark, a Darker Waste is just a bit worse, so we do it like this. Alright, do I burn Liliana? I shoot. It will cost quite a bit of cards, I'm not gonna lie. But I think that's a good decision. Oh, this card would be so awesome last turn. So, we can play this into Strangle and... Oh no, we don't have enough mana. We do not have enough mana. I'm not loving it, but with Resolute Reinforcements, I think it's okay. I wanted, if I had more uh, more of the red mana, I would go for Iconocraft. I think there was more efficient way to play this early game. Honestly, I think I missed some value somewhere. But we'll still try to make it work. There are no creatures, right? I believe. We didn't give him any creatures. That's why, it, like, it's if it's cut down, like he will play it. But who knows? Maybe something. So we are building our board. Oh, I needed this so much before. I needed so much before. Uh, he, it cannot be invoked. This only three cards left. All right, guys. I'm going full grid mode. I should play wedding announcement, but I'm greedy. Okay, uh, what can I say? I like my value. Uh, intact, full, maximized, and very, very cool. He knows we don't really want to trade. Uh, we might trade on the next turn, though. To be honest, we probably want to flip the wedding announcement first. I could start drawing cards, but 
I think getting him around 10 should be okay. Yeah, that's fine. I, I get a card. He lost a card. Uh, you don't really want to fade full absence when your opponent can just draw a card at the end step. But yeah, that's fine. Alright. I'm not killing Trespasser yet. Oh, I... I don't really want to draw a card. Let's attack with one creature. And the reason is, of course, we want the tokens. I just want more tokens, because we need to trade with this Trespasser and start racing him a little bit. Uh, three black. He can draw a black land into Invoke the Sperm, so something we need to be careful of. You monster. Leave him alone. Damage. Uh, but it will be hard for him to burst the rest, so I think I can go around six quite conveniently. And the guy is just freaking healing like a madman. Alright, this is this is this is kinda scary. I am still building my board. As high as you can get. You want to attack with this one because in case you want to block, you want something that is not a card in the graveyard, so he cannot drain you. Just you know, just a little tip difference. By the way, uh, he should activate Misha's Foundry, unless he has a play. So either we m I missed it and he missed it, or he has something to play. I cannot flip the Gluton. Alright, we need one more turn and we flip, and our board is actually pretty strong. Not sure what we are playing against. If he has white, it's probably farewell. That's why you play the, car the thing, right? I need a lot of tokens. Yep, draining us like a boss. It's fine, kinda. We can deal... We, like, we are very close to killing this guy, you know? Oh, alright, that's that's a different story. This will be an issue, this will be an issue. So do I burn his face? Not really, right? Yeah, if I attack, he just lifelinks very conveniently. I cannot target this one. That's a weird play, but I will go for it. I think it might open some possibility at some point. Is it really so expensive? 10? Min yeah, I need 6 mana. I mean, alright. 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 So we flip the thing this moment. So I can get... Oh, but I need to tap out, right? It's a sorcerer also. I can kill the Gluton for, you know, casual 6 mana and die. Oh, that's so awkward. Unfortunately, we will need to make a massive trade. And given we need the creatures to block, we cannot cast the Singularity. That's unfortunate. Hopefully he won't attack into it, but I'm pretty sure he will. Oh, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. That's for sure. Oh, man. This is getting rough. Alright, so he should attack with everything. There is no reason to attack like this, to be absolutely honest with you guys. It gives it just gives us more time. Alright, do we block something? Or we just try to go for singularity? Alright, galvanic iteration. This might be our draw. So we need 5 mana. Yeah, we will lack 1 mana even if we top deck the card. So we cannot kill him. Like, I think we take it. We just take it. If we want to block, we can block as well on the next turn. And it doesn't kill us. So it makes us stronger. Fable. Fable is pretty legit, but we just need this one extra turn when we don't die. <laughs> That's so weird. I think this is the play and we try to be defensive. The fact that he's not attacking with Flash Gorger is just so good for us. He's not playing this very well, but I think he, we, we just didn't get good enough draw to pierce through this. Also, uh, my early game decisions might have been questionable, so this is something that also could lose the game. Right. No creatures, good. Some chum blocking action. Like this is kinda okay, it deals damage. I think we do it... Oh, it has to be like this, I think, and... 
Why I'm blocking like man, I'm crazy. Yeah, three blockers, not perfect. Not perfect. I will go for it. I think this is our best shot. Not sure exactly what we are supposed to do. Like we can deal one damage, but then we cannot attack. It's just always short. I think our opponent will never know what really happened in this game and how close he was to dying. <laughs> Told you, this was the card. I mean, maybe, maybe there's a, maybe there's a chance. Probably not. Yeah, we needed cards like this earlier. Oh, that is so close. So we can discount, like we can cast it in early. One mana luck and then we need, like we're pretty close to killing him, but it was always a bit awkward. Good game, my friend. Good game. I, I, I enjoyed this one. I think I could have won it if I played a bit, diff uh, a bit better.